What's up, people? So we're back at it again. I uh, got another car, uh, Dolly. Oh, whoa. Oh. Uh, Dolly today. Uh, so we got that hooked up. About to go uh, on a little venture, check out a couple uh, Hondas. Honda boy. <laughs> uh, so that's that's what we're doing today. So I gotta decide to jump to stores real quick, grab some supplies. Uh, tow Dolly, tow set up. That's what we have. Take some tires. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it should fit on there, ground clearance wise. With that, we're gonna find out. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. So right now, I'm just grabbing some uh, straps because uh, there is no motor. So I need to be able to get it on there. So I have like some. Uh, Heavy duty ratchet straps I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna grab that and then also just never know if you need extra tie downs. It's good to have those. I should probably keep those with me at all times, but I don't. Uh, but let me get this stuff situated, grab what I need to grab, and we shall continue on with this adventure. All right. Uh, so we're on our way to go pick up the vehicle. We're gonna check it out the vehicle. Uh, vehicles, it was a package deal. It was a uh, buy one. I guess get one if you want to think about it like that. One vehicle had a title, uh, the other one didn't. So uh, excuse the noise, by the way. Uh, so uh, yeah, so my whole thing is going to get the one with the title, supposedly rust free. Everybody's idea of rust free, I guess, isn't the same. My idea of rust free is rust free. I don't want to see like there could be surface rust, but uh, like the rockers, like rust where you have to actually like chip or peel or bend metal with my bare hands. To me, it's considered rust free, or isn't rust free. Uh, so it had that, and also on the bottom rocker, it was dented and stuff like that. So uh, oh, I was planning on having a video. Uh, <laughs> this is the video that you get for uh, this week anyway. Uh, so it wasn't successful. I didn't record, like I don't really like to record the people's faces kind of deal. Like everybody has their uh, right to privacy. Uh, so uh, I went to check it out, it was a 2, it was a 91 uh, EF Civic, and the other one I wasn't too sure of the year. Uh, the interior on the other one was good, but the other one had no title. And even just kind of asking uh, the guy about like the title situation, uh, the answer was, ah, I just got it without a title. Uh, so if you do go get a vehicle without a title, make sure you get a bill of sale, and also run the VIN numbers just to make sure it's not a stolen vehicle don't need headaches and like I was gonna run the vid like if I decided like I had, like you know something worth you know me taking like a project on even though we already have the other project just to kind of see like daily vehicles slash maybe possibly I don't know gonna flip the vehicle who knows but uh double check vids especially if those go with title even if it comes with a title it's probably best practice to check to see uh check out the vid anyway for uh things like leads uh stuff like that salvage titles Stuff like that, you always want to run a bit just to get the history of it. Uh, so uh, I didn't even get, get to that point just based off the other vehicle not being rust free. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that being said, thank you for tuning in. We almost had another uh, vehicle or situation going on just kind of behind the scenes of what I'm usually up to. Uh, so that didn't happen, but uh, I wanted to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking out the view, uh, videos. And thank you for subscribing uh, like everybody who's even been here like early on uh slow motion is better than no motion so we're making slow progress with everything we're doing uh there is a, a plan in mind there is a goal in mind uh, everything i do is somewhat calculated it may seem uncontrolled chaos at times but like it is calculated uh so with that being said uh be willing to walk away from a bad deal <laughs> so uh thank you for tuning in peace tj